We're going to have more on this from New York City with what this ultra-affordable Raspberry Pi means for the tech industry. John Biggs, East Coast editor of Tech Crunch. Uh, John, welcome to the show. Great to have you here. Now, hi, I, I've read hi. a number of your articles. Y you've, you've talked at length about this product, so I'm going to let you tell us what is so unique and special about this product. And, I, and I've got a couple questions uh, about how expensive this product really is, but I'll let you start. Sure, I'm actually really excited about this. I mean, what you have here is actually a $25 computer. It's a full computer if you wanted to set something up, uh, potentially maybe in a, in a school computer lab or at home to experiment with. You basically have a tiny little computer on here. This is your hard drive, which is just a chip on the top. Um, this is all your, uh, your USB ports that you can plug in your keyboard and your mouse, and it just works. So. The first time I tried this, I was actually, uh, it was actually really, really cool because I was able to get a full working computer up in a matter of seconds because this thing boots up very, very fast. And for kids, it's great because it has uh, pre-installed applications and games for them. And it's really a lot of fun. This is, um, you know, I'm, I'm looking at the picture the, of the model you just brought. And this, you're, sure. you and I are about the same age. I'm going to um, go with about that. And I remember <laughs> playing with these computers and putting code in and making these silly things. And from an educational standpoint for children, not just in America or in Europe, but really all over the world, this could be possibly their first computer and they're gonna learn how to do programming or code. How significant is that from an education standpoint? Well, it's very significant because you had, historically you've had sort of these, these computer labs where you might have outdated computers, where the monitors might be a little bit older. Now, with this sort of thing, you can upgrade your entire computer lab for $25 a pop. Uh, you can just plug in a monitor, you can plug in a keyboard and mouse that you might already have and have it work immediately. And the best thing about this is that it's all on there. So when you, you can install different uh, operating systems, different experimental tools that you can do, and you can actually add little add-on boards that allow you to create sort of uh, sensors, uh, control motors, make robotic projects, all sorts of things. So if I were a Boy Scout or if I were in, uh, in grade school or, this or high is school, one of I'd the, be really excited. This is one of the coolest things I've seen in a long, I wish we could plug it in and just turn it on and show our viewers, but we, obviously <laughs> we don't have time for that. But I, I want to ask you, and I'll play devil's advocate, you say it's 25 or $30, dollars or not you, but, but the, the sites do. And the truth is, you've got to buy the monitor, you've got to buy a chip. What's the minimum cost in reality that it would cost to get this computer set up, say, if you and I were set it up right now here on the desk? Well, your maximum cost is going to be the, uh, the monitor. So let's say anywhere from $70 to $100. If you wanted a nicer monitor, it would be a little more expensive, obviously. That's your real cost. And you could feasibly use an older monitor that you had around the house. I was able to get this up and running on just stuff that I had around the house. <laughs> obviously, I'm kind of a geek, so I have all that stuff sitting around. <laughs> but it's, uh, all it's right, quite John, a bit of fun we're, um, to see it. All right, John, we're out of time. We're going to have to end the show there. Thanks again for coming on the show. Thanks for